Click the hand icon or press the H key to cancel the mode and move the map. You've heard me say that many times. Today, we'll look at other ways to move the map in Garmin Basecamp. A couple of viewers reminded me of ways to move the map other than returning to pan mode. In my video explaining why Basecamp is so hard for new users to learn, I explained that the program has a modal design and the primary mouse button doesn't do what you expect it to do. Each mode hijacks the primary mouse button for its own purposes and therefore you can't move the map by pressing the primary mouse button and dragging the mouse. Doing so does nothing in some modes or it creates additional items you don't want. Let's look at five ways to move the map. Method 1. You can move the map freely in pan mode. Pan mode is activated by clicking the hand icon or pressing the H key. Going into pan mode cancels the mode you were in. That's not always a good thing. For instance, new route mode lets you construct a route by clicking the mouse to add waypoints along the way. Once you cancel new route mode, you can't go back into the mode and pick up where you left off. Each time you activate new route mode, you start a new route. Method 2. You can use the four arrow keys on your keyboard to move the map around. I'm not fond of this method because being right-handed, I have to take my hand off the mouse to use the keys. This method is probably great for people who use their left hand to operate the mouse. Method 3. Clicking the toggle overview map icon turns the overview map on or off. This little map provides a way to use your mouse to drag the main map around and allows you to zoom in and out without canceling the mode. Method 4. I overlooked this method of moving the map because I keep the map controls turned off. I find it annoying to have the controls pop up when the controls are in automatic mode. However, you can move the map by clicking the little arrows inside the circle. The vertical scale to the left of the circle controls the zoom level. Also, you can drag the outer circle of the control to rotate the map. Be aware that you can double click any of the direction letters to put that direction up. For example, if you double click the letter E, east will be at the top of the map. Just remember to double click the letter N to return the map to the usual north up operation. Method 5. This is a method I was totally unaware of. One of our viewers mentioned it in a comment. When you hover the mouse near the edge of the map, the cursor changes to a big fat arrow. While that arrow is visible, you can click and move the map. I'm not impressed with this method, but it's there. Recapping the five ways of moving the map, we have dragging in pan mode, dragging inside the overview map, using the arrow keys, dragging the triangles in the map controls, hovering and clicking at the map edges. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you want to support the channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacoffee.com or go to the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Links are in the description. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.